Harper Street is no longer gay. The lovers, we, we do like gay. We, I do. There is the lack of function, mm -hmm. the pigmentation to uh, reattach and tighten the skin. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. My name is Brandy, if you're new, and this is My Trans Life. If you are not new and you're coming back, please know that I love you. Wait, I love you. Girl, when I tell you that I... This vlog is gonna be a weekend vlog. Today's Friday, by the way, happy Friday. Because I broke out so i got a steroid shot last week due to the in this shoulder due to my situation from my ability and that was in the last vlog i talked all about it when i went to urgent care and i did not know that steroid shots break you out miss girl when i tell you when i tell you you can still see all of the residuals of it especially up there my face broke out my chest broke out my back oh it was a nightmare. It was like a rash just that came all over. So it was clearly an allergic reaction. Thank God it wasn't acne or anything like that. And it is starting to wear off. There was honestly nothing I could do about it. So now it's getting better. So I haven't been on camera because I was like, uh-uh, not it. But it is a little dried up. So today I don't have much on my face. I just have a little bit of salicylic acid. And that's pretty much it. And I'm wearing glasses just to contour everything. I I'm so happy to be back on camera. Thank you guys so much for the love and support in my last vlog. So, so excited about that. Right now I'm headed out into the city. So let's get it. All right, we have made it to Williamsburg where the beautiful people reside. I'm frequent. I stopped off and got me a cappuccino. I don't think I told you guys that I stopped drinking coffee first thing in the morning um in an attempt to wean myself off of it because the crash that happens is so real so i've just been having like a jasmine tea which i've been appreciating actually and then i would get a coffee later in the day if needed because that's when it really helps too and i feel so like skeezed out honey but I stopped off at this place, girl, and they were acting weird. I was like, um, you're not that fab. I love when people do that because my, my energy never matches. It always goes above. For me, it's always like, oh, good morning. How are you? Thanks so much. And they're just so cold. It took me a really long time to understand that when people are like that, it is their own life. You should not be waking up in the morning going to your job that's facing people serving people being upset i mean we're all human and we all have days which i totally 100 percent understand but you can't take it out on other people and you know the thing about it is like i told you guys in the last vlog i'm also having things going on in my life too but i would never take it out on other people because why it's just like that's not a good thing to do Anyway, I'm going to work now, check in with you guys soon, and I'm gonna enjoy this coffee. We had a really big day. Busy, busy, busy day today. So, and it's still ice cold out here for some reason. The weather has not warmed up, not one bit. Um, I was looking forward to it, but I should have known better. It's ice cold today, I am freezing. So, I'll talk to you guys soon. And welcome to a brand new day. Happy Saturday, beautiful beautiful people i am so sorry yesterday was a complete wreck first of all i'm sure you know by now but there was an earthquake in new york city 4.8 earthquake now we are not built for earthquakes in new york city so as you can imagine everyone was shook literally and figuratively so it just completely wipes my day right off now this earthquake happened moments after i did the intro or when I was walking in Williamsburg or something like that. If you guys notice, my eyes are still dark and this is partly from the PRP, but also the top lids are dark too. So I have to imagine that it's also from the Latisse. I don't know, I'll give you guys a full review in a few months because I wanna know if the juice is worth the squeeze, if my lashes grow long enough to say, okay, 
I can wear concealer because of these raccoon eyes. We'll see. But anyway, I'm so happy to be back today, Saturday. It is an exciting Saturday, by the way. And a few minutes here, I have a uh, meeting with a plastic surgeon who I am considering going to to do a few things. Um, so I'll let you guys get in on a little bit of that. Honey. Obviously, I'll cut it up because, um, you know, some things are just for me for now. Obviously, I will definitely be sharing them with you guys um, when the time is right. We also have a dinner this evening, which is going to be fun. And then I have to pop into work just for an hour, though, so I'll take Lucy Mae with me. That'll be super fun. So, yeah, it's Saturday. We have some things to do. I'm super excited to see you guys. If you're new here, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. I definitely appreciate all of the new subscribers. You guys make my heart beat. <laughs> Feels good to see people really engaging and liking my content. So please know that I am heartfelt, heartful, heart all of the things because of you and what you have given to me. So thank you guys so much. I'm getting ready to get some breakfast. I'll be right back and we'll head into um, our meeting. All right, so I just got a message from the doctor that they wanted to start early. So here I am. I'm going to take it here. It's going to be on my phone through WhatsApp. So I'll just do it on my vanity. Let me get some light. Oh, let me see. Perfect. That's the light I'm using. I also get some direct sunlight like that. Oh, look at all that light, honey. I want them to be able to see my Carter. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm sorry because the doctor has another patient call. That's why I'm so late. Okay. No but, worries. I'm so busy at the clinic. That's why. <laughs> yeah. What time is it there? It's already 4.31. In the evening? In the afternoon? Afternoon. Uh, I think we have seven hours difference back. yeah yesterday it was uh, an earthquake, earthquake in new york earthquake yeah yeah everything is okay everything's okay but yeah it was quick uh, maybe i can ask you a few questions before the doctor comes if that helps uh-huh yeah you can ask me okay the normal travel time for surgery recovery how many days does it usually require to be there 14 days 14 two weeks two weeks yes really to stay there yeah or make some time if you can stay for two weeks but at least you have to uh, stay 12 12, 12 days day. damn yes because okay. after the surgery, you have to check up and do some lymphatic massage and check if everything is okay. So that's why we have mm. to stay. 14 so, days. And at least, at least two weeks okay. here in Ontario. Okay. I would like to come January. So like the beginning next year. The beginning of the year, yeah. Like maybe eight months from now. Yeah. Well in the next day the price may change. Yeah. When you decide to come you can ask, you can tell me and I will remind you the um, new quotation. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to do that because I wouldn't be able to recover from surge because i have so many things to do mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. i wouldn't be able to recover until okay mm, yeah yeah but i want when to, you're ready just then yeah, yeah yeah but i want to definitely do the consultation book the date and then mm -hmm. and then figure the rest out later however that works yeah yes it will be better for us and for you also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
because the day gone very quickly here. <laughs> yeah, for me too. And then as yeah. far as the currency is concerned, when I make a payment, can I use my credit card? How do you guys take payments? Um, you can take uh, cash okay. if you want, or you can do some um, uh, transfer, bank transfer. But no credit card? No credit card. Oh, okay. Uh, do you have any question? Uh, I think those are my questions. I think my other questions would be it's for the doctor around for the doctor. The if I, yeah. yeah, to determine what Okay. okay. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I've had a few things done already um here in the United States. But I do think that what I'm looking for requires a different approach. Um, and I wanted to talk through a few of those things. So I talked to your um, coordinator up here and we sort of went through, um, and I think you were involved in a list of options. Um, and I wanted to talk about those. Okay, would you please pinch it? Not the uh, glue, it's right here. It's just being, just going towards inside of here and passes backwards of the ear from here mm. because I would need a ties the excess of skin from sides mm. so that's why we need to use the back of the ear to take off the excess of skin okay fat tissue contains four times more stem cells mm. when compared with bone marrow mm -hmm. so the fat tissue is one of main stem cell sources. So it would be 10 or 20 cc of fat from tummy or uh, somewhere on the body. So I'm missing anything. Was there anything else that you recommended in the quote or was this, was this it? From the hairline till the neck, uh, full face stem cell cocktail would be my special recommendation. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, got it. And that doesn't put fat into the face. It just helps the skin to turn over or something. No, it's not for volumization. It's just for tightening and stem cell effects. Okay. Okay. And then stem cell. Okay. Yay. Okay. I think those are my questions. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. I will work with your coordinator and start to figure out what timelines and stuff work best for me. It will be a pleasure to us. Can't wait to see you soon then. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day. My pleasure. Bye -bye. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay, girl. You girls got that. That was giving um, the surge chat, honey. She talks to the doctor. She's giving it's going to go down. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited. I love, 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 love everything that we talked about. Next year, my year, and oh, God is good. Process, process, process process god is good and you know what i was sitting around just thinking about oh my gosh i would need this oh my gosh how i would feel if this was to happen or that was to happen and now i'm like you know i'm just out here doing what needs to be done for my life you know and also like i always tell people the transition is never done there is always transitioning to happen and i'm taking you guys with me i cannot wait to make that content guys do you know how interesting it's going to be and we're talking about january of next year we are already in april we will be at january before you know it and that's what i have to keep reminding myself throughout this time it's like i am on a spending freeze at this point i am on a budgeting to the max at this point i am seeking other uh, sources of income at this point because once you start the process to something you start to feel like it's real and you start to get really involved in it and that's how i'm feeling right now and also 
let's just talk about the way I'm able to talk to the doctor. Like what? I am so proud of how grown I am, how much I've grown up, how professional I can be. Girl, let's get into this day, honey. We got things to do. Guys, this is Lucy May's first time in Williamsburg and she is obsessed with the smells. Let me let you see. Lucy, how are the smells going? <laughs> she never really stops that long, usually. Come on, Luce, let's go. You gonna pee? <laughs> Child, I've been getting dressed, listening to Beyonce, Cowboy Carter, Act Two. Yaya is lit. I'm wearing all black. This top, I thought it would be interesting wear this top that I've never worn before. Um, it is from Cider and it's like this shoulder pad situation and just black pants and I'm gonna wear some silver shoes so yeah this is what the look is giving the face is B tiny she's given very minimalistic makeup I don't know if I call this a no makeup makeup look I think because this is definitely a makeup look as you can see the concealer is pretty heavy around my eyes because it had to be um because the dark spots or whatever so this is what it's giving i feel like i look so cute i'm so shocked that i was able to pull this off and i am headed out to dinner i am not spending a lot of money i am not drinking a lot so i have a lot to do tomorrow and also it's not worth it after my last rant about harlem that situation i am not doing that again so We'll see what this evening looks like, but I'm excited to go out for sure. And then I will have some content for you guys to see. And then tomorrow we have each other. I have a lot of things to do tomorrow, so I cannot even afford to be not feeling well at all. So a few drinks, a little bit of food, home for me. It's been a really chill day. Lucy May and I took a bike ride to Williamsburg. Um, I needed to do some work for one hour on my day off um and then came back home and then i just started getting dressed actually i took a shower i was listening to beyonce cowboy carter act two um this whole entire time and yeah i'm just ready to go so okay so i'm leaving my house i'm getting on the train i was gonna bike but bitch scratch that i'm getting on the train um so i might be a little delayed can you believe for the first time this will be the first time in my life well maybe not in my life but like in a really long time that i've been late so i'm not smiling because it's funny i'm just smiling because like okay she's late we're headed on the train i'm gonna give you guys a little montage train montage i never got feedback on whether or not you guys like that i've done it a few times before so leave me a comment down below and let me know if you guys like seeing the new york subway experience so here we go let's go So we are out. We literally just got off the train at West 4th Street. We took it from Brooklyn to the village. Child, I have so many memories of this village. Um, but yeah, I'm getting ready to find the restaurant and head over. I've already, wait a minute, first of all, I am not late. 
and I already got a message while on the train from the others that they're late. So either way you do it, I'm on time. I told you there's a juju on me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that Montauk on the train. I am headed to find the restaurant and I'll see you guys there. We are outside of dinner. Dinner was so fabulous. I cannot wait to recap it with you. Whew, there's the light. I have found the light right there. And we're in full swing in the village. I am going to have one nightcap. Oh, uh oh, we got a band. That's why we love New York. <laughs> hey boys, let me cut up. I'll talk to y'all soon. We're in the village, so yeah. I'll see you guys in a bit. When I tell you I'm so gagged, I literally just, girl, I'm not even gonna talk about it, but I got some pie pies for dinner, for the dinner after dinner, because when you're drinking, you know you must drink. I'm sorry. <laughs> You know, you must have dinner at home. The boys are out, the people are out. Just a reminder of things that I should be doing when I'm in the city. Yeah. Oh, yeah. More of that, more of that, more of that, please. Headed back on the train. I'll give you guys such an update soon. Um, so much to recap, but Overall, a good night. We'll talk in a bit. y'all oh my god so i'm home after all of the night it was such a cute night first and foremost you see i miss you too boo boo yes honey i am home from dinner okay first and foremost this dinner was for a friend it was a birthday dinner and you know, when you go on a birthday dinner with someone, the f person whose birthday it is doesn't pay. That's what we do, and I think that's what most people do when you're in your friend groups. Um, we went to a really expensive restaurant. It was called Nine Jones. It was sickening. Nine Jones was very iconic. I will definitely go be going back to Nine Jones. The food was phenomenal. The drinks were phenomenal. The ambiance, the, like just, they had live music. The ambiance was super cute. The only thing I would say is they had a, we were in West Village, so there's a super small 
space. Like one shoot, it wasn't really the grandest of decor or space, but everything else was phenomenal with the team, the staff, everyone introduced themselves. Like the owners introduced themselves. The manager introduced them. It was phenomenal. It was just three people, which was my core group of friends, and it was cute, so we lucked out that way. Then we went to try to find a place to have a nightcap, and it took a while, but we did find one. It was a new restaurant, it was super cute. I had an apple Manhattan, which I've never had before, but I really liked it, so that was good. Now I'm home, I got some Popeye's chicken to eat. I'm not gonna be hungry when I get home. I got some good old fashioned Popeye's, baby. These are the fries in this bag. You know, it is what it is. I had to get on the train. This is cold for sure, but it's so good. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I love it. This is drunk food. Mm, mm, mm. I feel nothing like I felt from Harlem. Remember I told you guys in Harlem? I wasn't even drunk. Definitely drunk. Right now. Mmm. This is... These are their spicy wings. Let's see. Mmm, okay. Popeyes. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Mmm. What is that? I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the flavor of it. But it's hot. Love that. Mmm. It's okay. I don't like the flavor. I don't like the garlic. But, honey, I'm hungry. Mmm. Yeah. I should have got that good old fashioned chicken breast like I thought. But I was trying to be adventurous, which I'm not with food. Here's the thing. Sometimes friendships come to an end. They just do. It's hard to end a friendship. It's hard to end a friendship. I would say it's harder to end a friendship than it is a relationship. Because Although relationships have that intimacy level, friendships also have like an intimacy trust level that is just so crazy strong. I also feel like friendships come to an end over time. So there are things that are happening that is that that's ending your friendship with someone and we don't we don't choose to understand those things or we're not really aware of those things because of the trust level that we have with people. I feel like today I ended a friendship with someone and I feel like it was mutual. I feel like today a friendship that one of my friendships was mutually ended. And I feel okay with it today. I feel like I might be sad for a day or two or maybe longer than that, I don't know. But I don't feel like it wasn't the right thing to do. In my heart, you know what I mean? Because I feel like in your heart, your heart will just act a certain way. Your heart will speak to you a certain way. Sometimes people are just at a different, at a crossroads and the path they're going on is very different. And I feel like that. I also feel like I don't know. I'm, I'm such a, I told you guys before I'm a Capricorn, I'm such a loyal person that when someone expresses to me that they have felt or they think that I haven't been, I don't, I don't tolerate it. When it's happened two or three times, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. My life is so important to me. I am on a, such a journey that I don't have time. I don't have energy. I don't have capacity to give that to anyone else. So Please know that 
tonight was a good night, but also a very traumatic night for me. Um, and I do want to reflect on it, but I am intoxicated. So I know that this isn't the best time to, uh, to reflect on it because my thoughts would be awful. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that because I have so much respect for this person that I want to honor their memory. I want to honor who, what our relationship was and I want to honor who they were to me and my life. I want to honor that. I, I want to honor that so much so that I'm not even going to process it while I'm intoxicated. Do you know what I mean? I know for a fact my feelings are accurate and I feel the way I feel and like I'm sure they feel the way that they do and like mutually we have chosen to silently in our friendship we didn't say like oh this friendship it oh is over because we're grown but we understand that the friendship is over and that's okay right and I want to wish this person well and I would hope they do the same for me um and I, I just think we're at a crossroads you know um what I'm doing, what I'm doing here with you guys, what I'm doing in this page, how this content is going, what we're building. This is us. You know what I mean? This is this is what where I'm standing right now, what I'm talking about, the things. This is my stage. You you understand? And what I do on this stage is all about me. It's all about me. What I talk about, how I grow. The things that I share with you guys, they're my emotions, they're my feelings. This is, this is, this is it. So I don't have capacity to really put someone else's feelings or emotions before that, you know, uh, unfortunately. And, 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 and that's where we are. And I, and that, and I know that that can sound kind of selfish, but think about it. I've never really put myself first. I know that that can sound selfish. I know that it can, but trust me, I mean it in the most unselfish way. I just know that in order for me to get to the place that I'm trying to go, it requires me to have boundaries, demand respect, um, and not tolerate mistreatment, not tolerate anything that comes my way that doesn't necessarily support positivity love you know and, and 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 that's why i am so i am home tonight was fucking fabulous oh my god um i'm about to shower and get ready for bed and then yeah and then we have a day tomorrow so that is what it is i'm super 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 i'm not sad i'm just kind of like in this in this moment of of what's going on but it is what it is. Um, thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. We had so much fun. We had so much fun. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And happy Sunday. Um, we are home. We slept in. Girl, it is 1230 in the afternoon the skies are blue there's clouds i can see them there's i'm just feeling so good i did do exactly what i said i would not do yesterday which was drink i had i think three drinks and a shot um at dinner and then we went to another place after and i was quite lit and i was feeling it this morning um so that's why i'm up super late I'm so glad that I got to experience um, not sticking to the plan because this last night was reassurance to me because I've been struggling a lot. I think I've said it before. I've been like just listening to myself and trying to find out you ever, you know, the inner voice we have inside of us when it's talking to us, how to recognize it. Do you know what I mean? How to differentiate it from just the thoughts that are running through your head to it actually being your inner voice speaking to you um, to tell you things. So I've been tuning into myself a lot more lately to try and understand what that all even means and how do I hear it, 
respond to it how do i know it's real like i want to learn all of that stuff in my own self so that i can be my best self and that's how that happens once you learn yourself enough you know yourself enough you have a relationship with yourself that's you know real you know it then you can start pouring all the thoughts that you have in your head into yourself because you can trust that yourself is going to take care of yourself so complicated please you know whatever but it's a real thing um so i'm definitely reassured of just how I go out, the decisions that I make, you know, there always has to be a level of accountability and everything. Um, so yeah, so here we are. My hair is a wreck. I'm getting ready to wash it up. I have a interview tomorrow that I'm so excited about. It's just like kind of popped in. Um, and I'm hopeful. I know how God works though. Like that, you know, God shows up when the time is right and he puts something in my he gives me something you know he gives me something each time like the job that i'm working now uh a friend was working there and you know i was able to get my interview that way and then the same thing is happening again so i'm really grateful for that because it's not easy you know on paper being me and you know and it's like the paper is really everything that matters first before they even meet you so your charm and your charisma and like you know the energy that you can present when in the present you in presence like when you're with someone you can't necessarily present that energy always on paper you know and it's unfortunate because that's how it is i thankful to god that i'm able to have people um in my life for whatever time that is um, who listen to God and let God use them to choose me because all your blessings come through God through other people no one's really blessing the other person they're doing what their heart tells them to do and either they're blessing you or they're cursing you because their heart is good or bad so that's that well I'm getting ready to wash my hair I don't know what this day is going to look like but I will pop in a few times just to see you guys happy Sunday let me wash this hair and get a conditioning mask in it um and i'll be back channel i didn't showered and realized showered put the mask in my hair there's a mask in now and realized that i'm not going to do half of the things that i thought i was going to do today i made myself a jasmine green tea with jasmine green with a little bit of stomach ease from yogi in there to drink for some caffeine and some comfort and yeah i'm just gonna have a sunday i have a lot of work to do but i will definitely start it when i feel better it's important to listen to your body too so that's what that's giving Okay, we're also going to do a clay mask, I think, today because why not strip the skin? Now, I didn't make me uh, some drunk food or some hangover food, which was this taco. I really sat in that kitchen and made a taco from scratch. It looks so good and it's spicy and it's everything that you need when you have a hangover have do you leave me a comment let me know what your favorite food is when you're hungover some people like fried chicken some people like fast food like mcdonald's i prefer like a taco anything spicy or pickled that's my jam but i want to know what yours is let me know okay right, so i am finished with my blowout honey and my apartment is smoky boots um yeah so i don't really i'm not flat ironing it or anything i don't really like to put too much heat on my hair as you guys know i like it natural this is giving just a blow dryer and a little bit of products and then i'm just gonna put it in a bun and then i'll wrap it tonight and then that way tomorrow it'll be flatter and then i'll be able to put it in a nice sleek bun well not so sleek but maybe a, mess, a messy bun that's what i do I also am not that girl who can do hair on the face too much. It's giving instant clock when I do that. So 
I guess it's lucky. I guess I'm fortunate to be able to take the hair off the face and not have it on the face. But sometimes I do want to have like a bob or, you know, maybe I should try. I don't want to say for definite that that's me, but let me try it again in the future. Like some bangs or something. I don't know, but when my hair is in a bun, it gives me ultra femme, honey. Ultra. Ultra fish, darling. So we'll put it up in a little bun. I mean, it doesn't look any different than it looks. So, but that's it. We're gonna do a mask. There's a bike gang outside at me. Oh, can y'all see out my window? Now y'all can't see. You guys know this is the mask I use from Kiehl's. The, from Kiehl's, it's a deep pore cleansing mask. And I always say, this mask, ooh, Oh, my goodness. I dropped it on the floor. This mask should definitely be used once a week on everybody's skin. I mean, if your skin needs a deep clean, this will do it. This will do it. This will make your skin look airbrushed. It is pricey, but it's worth it. I can feel the texture on like up here and around here getting rougher. I don't know what that is. It's like the hair will never just stop. Yep. Yep, okay, and I'll let it sit for about 30 minutes and then we'll wash it off and that's it. I washed the mask off and I am now, I put a little hydrating spray on and then now I'm using these um, eye masks, hydrating eye masks for dark circles. And then I took out a new product tonight. So I'm gonna start using the La Roche Posay Glycolic B5 Serum. Now, you guys know I love La Roche Posay, my favorite SPF. Is La Roche Posay the double repair? Um, and then I have had really good success with their face washes. Um, so I'm gonna try this one. Why not? This is the Glycolic B5. My skin is kind of suffering. You remember last week I was breaking out, um, and so I'm just getting it back in order now. So the first step to that reset was using the clay mask, the deep pore clay mask from Kiehl's. It definitely took everything out of my skin and I think I'm able to start over now um, because I don't feel any active itching or breaking out or anything like that. So I put some spray on and then I'm gonna wash it again um, before bed I'll shower and then I'm gonna be using that. So I'll come back and show you guys what that looks like. I've never used it before, I'm super excited dark spot corrector exfoliating brightening glycolic acid 10 percent um times vitamin b5 with la roche posay thermal spring water i love that stuff too this is a good brand la roche posay la roche la roche posay all right y'all everything is done it is about 8 30 p.m oh no sorry it's about 8 15 everything's done i am just getting ready to finish everything before bed and i'm wearing my i'm gonna be doing my latisse you guys know i started i started this um last week well i guess it's been two weeks now and i've just been putting it on now the funniest thing is first i was actually putting it on my lash i mean my eyelid Wait, I'm gonna come back. Let me get this on and come back. Tell me why I forgot to show you. I forgot to show you that this is the top. So when you get La Roche-Posay products, it comes in a box and this was in the box and this was in. I put this in the refrigerator cause I didn't, you know, I just like cold products. Um, and I was looking for that cause I kind of misplaced it. But yes, that goes in there. Just like that. And boom, there you go. 
Okay, there we go. So I got it all on. I was actually putting it on my eyelid and then one of y'all sent me a DM on Instagram and told me, sis, you need to put it on your lash line. I was like, of course I need to put it on my lash line. I'm always clumsy like that, but I have started. I think this is week two. So I am so excited to see the progress in these lashes. And I don't know if it's like the placebo effect or whatever, but I don't know, maybe it's the placebo effect, but I already feel like it's working. I swear, I feel like on the, the tips of my lashes look a little longer, but I don't know. I don't have any lashes, so I'm excited to have some. Um, I do think it's making my entire eye black because um, I am getting darker circles, but we'll see. I'm willing to risk it to see how it all turns out. So, thank you guys so much for watching today. It was Sunday. We had a good Sunday, a nice busy Sunday. Tomorrow's a busy, busy day. I have to challenge myself going into the week to stay disciplined and like really, really get through the things that I need to get through this week. So, I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, girl. It's Monday morning. Um, we up, we dressed. The hair came out really cute. Y'all kind of slanted, and I can't figure out why. I guess that's better. Um, yeah, just ready to go. Remember, today is a day that we have a few things going on, so fingers crossed. Today is also the solar eclipse, so... I don't know exactly what that means, but from the information that I've gathered, it feels like the old is ending and the new is coming. So I'm gonna be super intentional today mentally to usher in the newness of my life. So I am headed out to work today. I'm not gonna take y'all with me because I have a lot of stuff to do and a lot of stuff to carry. So if anything comes up, I'll just pull you guys out on my phone, but I will definitely be checking in at the end of the day just to give you guys an update on how everything went. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Have a good day. Happy Monday, everyone. And I hope that your solar eclipse Monday um, really ushers in some new positive energy into your life we're all hopeful i know i'm hopeful but i would hope we're all hopeful for a new life a new life that is far better than the one that we have and that isn't to say that we don't have good lives because we're all super blessed in our own way but just that next step in goodness i think we all want so i'm hopeful and happy solar eclipse monday for y'all um and may you get all of the things that you deserve. But when we see each other next, we will be the new us. So, oh, today was cute. Um, I did have that interview that I told you guys about. I think it went really well. I always overthink everything, so, but I did get an email back. So I have been scheduled for a second interview with someone else. So I'm super excited about that. Nervous as hell. But I'm really trying to stay true to who I am right now. Now, I do believe that I am worthy of another opportunity. I can do this. I can do this. And sometimes my inner saboteur just gets the best of me. And it wants to tell me all of these things that I know. You know, I don't know. It just feels real sometimes when you're hearing these things in your head. But... I want to start encouraging myself differently. I want to start telling myself that you can do this. You are worth this. You know, you are beautiful. You are smart. You know what I mean? You do deserve love. You do deserve all of these things. And that's where I'm at. You know, I don't know how it gets so deep. It's like, I don't know where it all went wrong. So many things have happened to me in my life. And I've persevered. I've persevered so much stuff. I really have, you know. Instead of me being proud of that or reminding myself of that, it's not at the front of my mind. I forget it. And I let my emotions really get the best of me when sometimes I made it worse myself, you know. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on that. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna work on that. What's up, y'all? I haven't seen y'all in a bit. It is the next day. Last night was a whole mess, so I ended up going to sleep and woke up to this beautiful, beautiful weather. There are so many things going on. Um, I am having a whole range of emotions about that interview and everything that's going on with it, but I am staying optimistic because one of the things that I do know for absolute certain is that miracles do happen and possibilities are there. So anything's possible and why not be possible with me? We're on lunch, we're headed to the bank and then to Sephora. I wanna get a few things. Reformation just opened. How cute. Okay. What is that? Okay. I have to figure out if Reformation is secondhand or not. Not that it matters, but I just wanna know. Um, yeah. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I wanna pick up a few things from Sephora's sale. I should not be going into that store. It's dangerous, but I'm definitely gonna do it. So Sephora was an epic fail. I feel like every time I go to the one in Williamsburg, it's a studio. They never have anything I'm looking for. <laughs> Literally, they just have a few makeup items. They don't have anything else. So it was a fail. We'll try again tomorrow, see what we can do. Hey y'all, it's a full on mess in here. I am headed out to the dentist. Now, this will be the first time that I'm going to this dentist. I don't know if you guys have heard of Tend. I'm going to Tend. Um, I don't think it's that new, but it's a few years old. It's a dental brand. Um, it's accessible. They accept my insurance and it looks really clean. The reviews are mixed, but in New York, all reviews are mixed. So we'll see what it gives. I'm not doing anything crazy. It's just a cleaning and an exam today. And then we'll see how we get on i'm wearing this really cute sweatshirt i got from hydrofacial it's one of the brands that i work with um and it's super oversized i love it so much and yeah that's it also i got this really cute gift from a friend yesterday one of my friends works at prada and he got me a really cute gift comes in this really cute packaging and i was like oh my gosh what is this this is what it is. It's a cute mirror. Look, there you guys go right there. Cute mirror. And then on the other side, it said, I haven't even pulled this thing off yet. Let's pull this thing off. It says Prada. How cute is this? How cute is this when you're out at a really chic dinner or something with your friends or event and you get to just like check your face? Hold on. Let me do it so you guys can see it. You get to just like check your face with your Prada mirror. So chic. And I'm just gonna keep it in my purse. Obviously on days that I go out, like to events and stuff, I'm not just gonna carry it around for no reason. But I'm super grateful for that. So thanks friend. Let's head out. We're going to the dentist. I'll see you guys here. Oh, we also have to go back to Sephora because yesterday was epic failure. So we're going to go today and try salt and stones. So I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we have arrived at the location. So let's go into Miss 10 and see how they can get these teeth together, honey. I'm going to be secret with this. I definitely need to do the exam. I want to make sure that I can like do the x-ray and everything mm -hmm. so x behind are, it. X-rays are a part of this visit. Um, along with your cleaning, it's just strictly the exam is the only thing. Yeah, but my insurance will still take this visit as that incorporated. So I wouldn't be able to come back just for the exam without the copay. So I think I would um, want to... Do everything in one? That's crazy because I took all. I'm so sorry about that. Um, 
super can i go to another location today yeah, absolutely let me see what i have um for you so i have within the brooklyn area cobble hill and williamsburg i can check both or yeah okay let's let me start with cobble hill that's the closest to this okay so there are a couple openings over at cobble the very first that i'm seeing is for 2 30 and then they have 5 p.m mm. And then what about tomorrow in Williamsburg? Y'all, I am so, I'm not pissed, but I'm a little irritated that they didn't even call me to let me know <laughs> that the doctor wasn't there. I'm like, so you're just gonna let me show up and hope that I do it just like an overview and not get an exam? So you can charge my insurance the same price? Like what? Who are you talking to? Girl, no. Sorry, reschedule. I'm so I was actually going to call, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna cause any trouble. Sure things happen, so hopefully everything works out. I'm headed into Chick-fil-A right now. I need to eat. I'll be back. Hi. Hi, good morning. Can I have the spicy chicken? It doesn't have mayo or anything, does no, it? Just okay. Pickles. Just pickles. Okay. Do you want and the meal or rice? I do want the fries and everything. Okay. Yeah. So Can, the meal? Yes, yes. Just pickles, no lettuce or anything? No. If you want that, you have you could get the deluxe or you could add it onto your sandwich. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, what's the difference between that and the deluxe? The deluxe just already comes with um lettuce and tomato. Yeah. And cheese. And it's a spicy oh. chicken? Yeah, you can have Let's do that. Let's do the deluxe oh, chicken yeah. spicy yeah. with no mayo. So and what kind of cheese do you want? Pepper jack, American or cold? Pepper jack would be great. And then if I can also have what do I get to drink? Whatever I want. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's do the... What is frosting? Oh, we just put ice cream in the regular... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> and the iced tea has um, flavor? The sweet tea, yeah. What's, like, is it fruity or no? What's your favorite one of those? I just tried the cherry berry iced tea. I like that. It I want to do that. It tastes like hibiscus. Let's do that. Okay. Thank you so much. Nice. Y'all, today... Must not be my day, but we never give up. We never give up. We always keep going. I just left Sephora. They do not have salt and stone at that one right there in Brooklyn. So she's like, the only one you would be able to get it from is in Soho. Now, you know, I do not want to go to Soho on a day off, but guess who is not giving up? Because I guaranteed that we were going to try this product out. So. She's headed to Soho now. Gang. We made it home. <clears throat> it's later. I had time to do laundry, take care of myself, wash my face, take a shower, eat some dinner. I want to show you guys the things that I got from the Sephora sale today. So I have definitely tried to, this lighting is not it right now. I have definitely tried to go natural with the deodorant, like the aluminum free before. Sirens. I have definitely tried to go natural with the deodorant before. It does not work for me, girl. There is a saying about Brooklyn, and if you know it, you know it in Bushwick. Oh my God. Honey, no one wears deodorant all you smell is armpits and i mean festering armpits too so that is just not my jam so she did go back to regular deodorant because obviously i need to ensure look at lucy what are you doing back there <laughs> i need to ensure that i'm fresh and ready honey because she loves a good scent so i heard a lot about this ordinary uh, glycolic acid product that you put under your arms and it's a toner but it's supposed to take away the smell i don't know about the sweat my final step if this doesn't work would be botox under the underarms for sweat because that definitely does work but i want to try this first so i'm going to start this routine i'll keep you guys posted on how it works out you can also catch me on TikTok for this content. And then the salt and stone natural deodorant. Now, I wanted to get the spray and the body wash, but again, we did not fail. We tried again, we went to Soho. They were sold out of the other 
the body wash. They were sold out of all uh, scents of body wash, but they were sold out of the this for sure um, spray. Now the Black Rose and Oud, they had spray and deodorant. I was gonna get that, but I didn't like the smell of it. It smelled like tequila or something. I don't I don't like that. So I got this in Santal Vitiver. Um, so yeah, that one and this will be that one and this will be it and so i will also have content for this once i because i'm going to order the spray and the body wash of this too because i want to take a shower in that at night spray the spray on me for bed use the ordinary under the arms at night and then use this in the morning um with the delina or something i don't know but that's what happened today so we're home i'm going to enjoy the rest of my evening here with my pups I'm going to watch the good sis Miss Gina Janine. She just dropped the vlog last night, so I'm going to watch it today. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's the big day. Tomorrow we have an interview. Um, this is the second one to the other interview that I had earlier in the week. So this is the second interview. And I am a little nervous, super excited, but also I'm leaning heavy on my faith. Right now, I just feel like God has something for me, you know, and it's funny because I was telling you guys in the last vlog, it's so funny how this works. I was telling you guys in the last vlog how, you know, I was starting to feel kind of like panicked at my job now. And, you know, I do hope I get this job. I'm to be happy and I want to feel like secure. I want job security. I don't want to be wrestling with thoughts, you know, on whether or not I'm going to have a job or not so so that's that's where i am and um wish me luck guys but by the time you guys see this i'll already have had the interview so i'll tell you how it goes tomorrow and yeah hey, good morning and a good god bless you lovies happy saturday we have made it to one full week this is the end of this vlog um i want to first say thank you guys so much for watching this vlog your support means everything to me. I want you to know that each time that I get another view or another comment or another like, it truly, truly blesses me. So I just want to thank you guys so much for your interest, your commitment, and all of the support that you guys are giving me. It means so much. Um, I'm so excited to start next week's vlog so I can keep these things going. Um, this week has been super interesting just to wrap it all up. We've done a lot. You guys have seen it all. My life is what it is. What you see is my life. So there is no grand stuff that's happening or I'm not over dramatizing it to make it get more views or anything like that. It's just simply what my life is. Now, obviously I do want a grand dramatized life that's full of like stuff and one day that'll be but for now this is what it is so thank you so much for committing to liking it and seeing it and also just being so supportive to all of you who have left me such supportive comments um when you guys see this it'll be tomorrow which will be sunday so happy sunday last week we talked about being unhappy at my current job this week we had two rounds of interviews for a job that i feel so passionate about having now um, so I'm super, 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 super excited to see what happens. And, you know, I also want to exercise the thought that not everything is for everyone. So if for whatever reason, I, I feel it in my spirit though, you know how God just talks to you and tells you things and talks to you through your eyes, feel, feel it in my spirit that this is my job. Um, so in real time, I am going to upload this in this vlog so we can talk about what happens next um, in real time and process those emotions together. And that's what I mean when I say realness, rawness, um, and just what it is. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. If you are new here, please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are not new, thank you so much for coming back. Please don't forget to like, share, and comment on this video and follow all of my socials, which will be down below. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.